<laughs> I was trying to jump and hit him. Oh, get him. Oh, man, you just made a mistake. You just ran right into a Rottweiler, dude. <laughs>what is up guys welcome back to the channel this is your bro benzo back with another lspd fire style episode today today we're going to be doing a canine style patrol i posted that on the community post and it overwhelmingly became that you guys wanted to see a actual canine patrol we haven't done one of these in a long time and then also backed by popular demand we have django guys that's right we've been using blaze for a long time he is a malinois and this one here is a rottweiler so uh um, you know, Django's been with me since day one, so uh, plan on using him today. A lot of people have been requesting him, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with this really nice Tahoe. And we're going to go ahead and get him in the vehicle here. Here we go. Django, come on. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Sits right in there. Perfect. Yeah, this vehicle turned out really nice. I'll link it down below, guys. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Hey, John, go ahead and show me 1041 tonight. Roger that. Three, John, 21. All right, guys, let's see what we can get into. I do have a uh, special kind of thing we're going to do for 50,000 subscribers. So stick around for that. And if you're brand new to the channel, guys, welcome. I've been around YouTube for a long time. Well, it seems that way now. What is this guy doing? Taking this little golf cart and speeding through here, right? We're gonna try to do some callouts that we can use Django in, so let's see what we can get into. All units, suspects last seen in uh grape seed. Okay, we've got a wanted suspect on the run, guys. Pretty giant copy that responding code to. 21. Actually, they want us to go code 3, so let's go ahead and uh, get on this here, guys. It's going to be in grape seed, so it's a little bit of a drive, so kind of bear with me here. We're going to get on some speed here. I hope you guys have been doing really well, and I know a lot of you guys are kind of quarantined and whatnot for the most part. And I've been noticing a lot of people have been kind of binge watching some of the videos lately. And I greatly appreciate that. And I do try to comment back to you guys. So if you want to make a comment down below, I'll be glad to do my best to try to comment back to you. My channel is, even though I've got pretty much 50,000 subscribers, it still doesn't keep me from trying to respond to you guys. Now this is a manhunt call, so you know I really don't feel like sirens would be appropriate. I think just some lights to kind of get there, and then now I'm going to actually cut my lights because uh, he's supposed to be in this area right here. Oh, that's him right there. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, big mistake, buddy. Three John, we have suspects spotted. We're going to be out of here west uh, CV Road. It's going to be a white male, black shirt. John 21. Okay, fine. Come on, Django. Get out of there, man. Okay, here comes Django. And then we're also going to give him a speed burst. Let's do speed burst for Django. And let's have him go uh, tag that guy. Okay, Django's coming behind me, guys. Go get him, Django. Get him, Django. There he goes, guys. Django's in back at full swing. Get him, Django. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> now he'll keep him there. Watch, Django's gonna keep barking at him. Yeah, you, that Rottweiler's gonna eat your face, man. All right, Django down. Django down, down. All right, get down, man. Hands and knees. Hands and knees. You know what I mean. <laughs> knees. All right, stay right there. Uh, three, John, we got suspect to gunpoint. Go ahead and roll me. Code three, back up. 10-4, copy that. Here, let's do this. I just want to get an extra unit here just in case, you know. Keep an eye on him, Django. Could I ask you to get up? 
Get back down here, man. Get down. Get your hands behind your back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna search him. I probably could have called for, you know, code three backup to get here while I was chasing the guy. This is Bruno Joshua. Didn't have anything illegal on him. Uh, three John requesting a 27 on a Bruno Joshua. Common spelling Joshua. Let's see if I can find. It's not giving me any option to do a pet check. That's very odd. Okay, that's all right. Now, I do have an interaction menu. I haven't used this call in a long time. I do believe this is by Super Pyro Maniac. Oh, I could have done air unit. Okay, let's talk to him. All right, why'd you run, man? Makes the situation worse. He said, man, I just didn't want to go back to the slammer. I understand that, but evading the whole a whole new charge, that'll make you come back even worse, man. So I know. Too late to go back now, though. I guess I could have read that with more affliction in my voice. <laughs> That's all right. So we're going to go ahead and get him. Um, we're going to go ahead and just book him. We'll do, like, felony evade and whatnot. So let me see what I could pull up here on my tablet. A lot of you guys said you wanted to see this. So he's got an arrest warrant for inciting a riot. And his driver's license expired. I don't really care about that. Okay, so let's try to find this here. Okay, the only thing I could really find on here, I really, it, it really wasn't with violence, but that's the only charge I can really find on here that would be somewhat even appropriate. I'm not sure why they don't have like felony, you know, maybe flee or something like that, but he does already have a warrant for his arrest, so. And I'm not an officer in real life, so I don't really know about all this stuff, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get him downtown. Requesting transport. Okay. Backup required in Grapeseed. All right, so he's going to go with that deputy right there, and we're going to get back to our vehicle. Let's go, Django. Okay, here's our vehicle way down here. So usually I do a little bit of editing for you guys so you don't have to see all that running. Okay, so we're going to get Django back into the vehicle here. I kind of wish they had some hotkeys for that, you know? That'd be kind of cool. Three John, show me uh, code for tonight. 10 copy that. Three John, 21. A lot of people ask what I use right there. That is vocal dispatch. And for me, it seems to work pretty well. I've got a pretty decent microphone and whatnot. Uh, sometimes it doesn't hear you quite as well as, you sh as it should, but... Just, it still kind of works though. Just gonna pull back on to uh, CV Road here. Now, dude, I am observing this vehicle right in front of me. You can see how he's kind of weaving a little bit out of the road. Let's see if he does it again. Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and tag him. I was thinking he was going to run for a second. Let's get him off just a little bit more so that traffic can disperse appropriately. Now, I'm also using a plugin called Sticky Wheels. See my wheels right there? And then when I get out of the vehicle, it'll uh, they'll stay like that. It's called Sticky Wheels. Let's approach this vehicle here. Three John, show me the traffic stop going eastbound Seaview Road. I'm on marker 18. Uh, I need a 28, please. 10 4. It's kind of a BF injection 01 Union Mary Nora 72. Target vehicle license plate 01 Union Mary Nora 782. No 1099. Hello, sir. Deputy Benzo Blaine County Sheriff. I noticed that you were kind of weaving a little bit over the road there. I get your license, registration, and uh, proof of insurance. Got it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay, this is Marcus Brooks. Data person is going to be 9888. And it looks like he does have valid. Uh, it's going to be a vehicle registration, insurance card, and driver's license. However, I am smelling a lot of 
odor of either narcotics or possible alcohol. All right, let's go ahead and question him real fast. All right, sir. Like I said, I observed you, observed you kind of drinking. <laughs> Strike that. I observed you uh, weaving all of the road back there. Have you been drinking today? So I have one shot of vodka an hour ago. Uh, just one shot, huh? So in other words, probably about five shots. Any uh, kind of medications, drugs, anything like that? So why would I use drugs? I don't want to die. All right, where'd you come from? So I just came from the hospital. So you decided to do a shot of vodka? Where are you heading to? So I'm going to go see a friend. All right. Let's see, I was hoping to get some DUI questions here. Oh, that's okay. All right, now we've already ran his uh, plates earlier, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and have him step on out. Uh, can you go ahead and step on out, please? Thanks. All right, sir. Okay, follow me back this way. We're going to get him back over here. Now his hands are real shaky. What are they doing, those two cars? Come on, guys. Just go around, man. Okay, sir. What we're going to do is observe these two vehicles smashing into each other over and over again because they can't seem to get around each other. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Don't make my blooper real, please. Jesus. Oh, welcome to my blooper tape. All right, sir. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a horizontal gaze first. I'm going to take this uh, pencil right here. I want you to keep an eye on that pencil. I'm going to move it to the left. And then to the right. Oh, his head's real wobbly, guys. All right, he felt that. All right, sir, another thing we're going to do is a walk and turn test. All right, can you walk out in the middle of traffic? <laughs> I need to get on a better straight line. Okay, keep walking. Keep walking. Don't walk towards your vehicle too much. <laughs> turn back around. Walk towards me, please. Keep walking. Hill to toe, man. Hill to toe. All right, stop. All right, he felt that as well, guys. And then last thing, we're going to have you do a one-leg stand. Can you do that? There you go. Stand on your leg. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. He says, sorry, I can't do that. All right, he felt that as well. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and have you do a breathalyzer. And then have you blow into that. Keep blowing, keep blowing. And, oh, look at there. He's actually negative for alcohol. But I'm believing he's going to be positive to a drug swab. That's kind of weird. Oh, there he goes. Ah. Django, get out. Hey, Django, back, come on. We got eyes on the target. Moving to engage. Here comes Django, guys. Stop. You're going to get taste. Stop right there. Django, get him. Get him, Django. Got him. Stay right there. Keep him there, Django. Keep him there. Stay right there. Hey, John, we got suspect at gunpoint. Attempted to flee. Stop, man. Turn around, man. Put your hands behind your back. Okay, you're under arrest. For a DUI, and then also uh, trying to flee from the police. Alright, I still want to do a drug swab though, man. <laughs> I still think he's positive, guys. Alright, let's do a drug swab. It's a little unrealistic, but, you know, come on. Alright, let's see what he's got. Ah, look at there, guys. Positive to marijuana, cocaine, and heroin. You, sir, win the idiot award. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get him, and Django's going to follow us. Yeah, I really do appreciate the JoJo. He's the one that does Stop the Bed. He added all those DUI features in there. It's really cool, man. I haven't seen the uh, one-legged stand, though. That's pretty cool. Okay, Django's coming, guys. Let me get him down here. 
And then we're going to search his vehicle. Three John requesting transport. Assistance required in. Uh, Sarah, right there. Grape seed. All right, kneel down. I'm going to have uh, Django follow us, or actually just kind of keep an eye on him a little bit. We do have a transport coming. And I'm just going to go ahead and search this vehicle here. Okay, he had a bag of fertilizer in, in there. That's interesting. Hey, okay, really? Can't you just stop? Are they going to take him to jail? Hi. Right. And then also we'll do a police report on that guy too as well. Requesting a tow truck. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick arrest report on this guy. This is him here. And we're going to say, okay, I actually found it. It's actually under traffic, which is kind of odd, you know, just evading arrest. I didn't think it would be like that, but that's okay. And then also driving under the influence. So he'll be headed with that. And then let's go ahead and take a look at both of these reports here as well, because I know a lot of you guys want to see the court cases so he's going to go to jail in that as he clips through that vehicle yeah, let's go to the court cases this is going to be marcus actually let's do bruno joshua because he was the one that so we uh, arrested earlier remember he was the one that fled from the police so he got three years in prison fined up to two thousand it may have been a little bit less because of the uh, the non-violence but that's okay and then also he had a warrant for his arrest too so i'm sure he got more than that Marcus Brooks, the guy that we just arrested for DUI and also evading arrest. He got driving under the influence, fined $716. Really? That is that it? Eight months in prison? Okay. Evading arrest. Look at this guy, $663. License suspended for 18 months, granted probation. So that's kind of weird that evading arrest like that is almost equivalent to DUI. It's very, very strange, but Let's take what we get, right? All right, Django. Let's go, buddy. So Django's come in handy twice now. There he goes. Uh, three John, show me code four tonight. Ten four three John twenty one. All right, let's see what else we can get into. That's a good boy. Good boy, Django. All units, we've got a disturbance on. Sonora Freeway. Three John, copy that. Responding code two. Ten four, copy that. Okay, we got a guy out here. Supposedly he's got a uh, weapon in his hand. It's gonna be an open carry. But uh, let's go down here, and he's gonna be actually out on the freeway area. Let me see what he's doing out here, carrying a weapon on the freeway. Oh wait, can I just go up here? Now we are in a Tahoe, so I tell you, we're gonna have to go back this way. And we're gonna be responding code two to this. I'm gonna go across Farmer Johnson's field. I'm sure, he hates me by now. I love my Tahoe. Such a badass. Okay, now he's supposed to be like right out on the freeway. And we may have to get Django after his ass, man. Okay, I do see a vehicle just parked out here. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah. He's got a weapon in his hand. Let's block off the freeway. Uh, 3 John, show me 23. You're going to be US uh, 13. Go ahead, roll me code 3 back up. We have an officer requiring assistance on I didn't say code 2. Freeway. Come on, man. Requesting code three backup. On our way. Okay, we got code three backup coming, guys. Janko, come on, man. Sir, drop the weapon. Get him, Django. Get him. Get him. Don't you dare shoot my dog either, man. Drop the weapon. Drop the weapon. You come up with that weapon. Oh, he is so lucky, man. I just about lit him up. 
You would have made my highlight reel. Stay right there. Get all the way down to your face, man. All the way down. Good job, buddy. Django, keep him. Keep him. Good job, we got suspect to gunpoint. U.S. Route 13, mile marker 12. Roger that, 3, John 21. Got him. What are you thinking, man? Huh? Look <laughs> at those officers. What the hell, man? Oh, that's funny, man. I'm gonna pat him down. They finally get here, man. It took him a while. Hey, deputy. How's it going? All right, he did have an assault rifle, rifle, a rifle, and I got him. I got that from him. They got us kind of picked it up off the ground. This is Krabby Lennon. Uh, three John, can I get a 27 on a Krabby Lennon, please? Date of birth four twenty two ninety. Okay, he just had a suspended license. Um, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Did he have anything else going against him? Okay, this is him here. Just license suspended. He's never even been arrested. He's got some mental problems, man. Oh, you know what? Let's see else. I didn't see that he had an actual gun permit either. And yeah, he has no gun permit as well. And then plus he's carrying it out here on the freeway. Assault, assault rifle. Yeah, come on back here, man. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get him a pickup, and then why don't we just go ahead and do an arrest report with this guy, too, right? Hey, Django, what are you doing, buddy? Requesting transport. Hey, Django, he's gone. He's not there anymore. <laughs> Let's see if Django actually gets in the vehicle. Sometimes it glitches a little bit. Okay, here he comes, guys. I guess he was just thinking, I'm just going to keep an eye on him. Three John, go ahead and clear me from the last call. Code 4 tonight. 10 4 3 John 21. Okay, we'll do a rest report over here. We'll just kind of pop over here. And let's do that. Okay, I did find one charge here brandishing of a firearm. And then we can probably go ahead and hit him for just evading arrest as well. It's probably not, like I said, I wish I was an officer, man. I'd be able to do this correctly. <laughs> okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and see what his court case is just so that we know. And then let's see here, evading arrest, $873, license revoked, 11 months in prison. Really? Uh, he, he had more months in prison for evading arrest guys just a simple evade then brandishing of a firearm $889 10 months in prison so weird but uh, I'm not the one that wrote the plug-in so they might need to adjust that a little bit to US standards all right guys let's keep going here Okay, got uh, something kind of simple here, but yeah, sometimes it c this can turn into something kind of cool. We've got a couple people s standing outside the liquor store. Yeah, and one of them is drinking alcohol right outside the liquor store, which is against the law. Alright, let's have a talk with these guys. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going, man? How's it going? Whoa. Is that to get Django out of there? I think so, I guess. So what's up? Come on, Jago. Get over here. Hey. What's up with you? Huh? ID. You're the one drinking out here. Thank you. Chris Wiseman. Wiseman or wise ass? <laughs> 11287, dispatch 1027. Ah, he's got a warrant for his arrest. Stop right there, man. Stop. Hands up. Get your hands up, man. All the way down the ground. Stop right there. Hey, 
Can't we talk it out? Get, oh, Django. Dispatch, we have a visual. Get him, Django. Kill you. <laughs> I was trying to jump and hit him. Oh, get him. Oh, man, you just made a mistake. You just ran right into a Rottweiler, dude. <laughs> get up there, man. Get on your knees. Is there, I could have sworn I had another officer with me. Stay right there. Good boy. It's actually talking to this guy right here, not Django. <laughs> right, get your hands behind your back. Get up here. You're under arrest, man. You got a warrant for your arrest as well. You come back over here. All these guys are still staring at me, guys. <laughs> Look at them. They're like, oh, man. He got arrested. Can't believe that. I'm going to humiliate you in front of your friends. Requesting code 2 back up. Stay right there. Okay, so we got another unit coming just in case. Oh, he had PCP on him. Yep, this guy's definitely going downtown, man. Come back over here. Okay, got a couple of deputies here just in case these guys decided to act up. You're good to go. What the fuck is these people keep looking at me. <laughs> Taking your friend to jail. He's a smart ass. He's not a wise man. You leave him to me. All right, I will. Requesting transport. That is pretty cool, guys. You see that deputy over there keeping an eye on those guys? That's pretty cool, right? All right, let's do a rush report on this guy too, right? So he had PCP on him, so remember that. And then let's see here, drug possession. He had PCP. And then also, he was waiting arrest. Really, guys? You have to have your sirens on for that? Come on, Django. Let's get on back in the vehicle. Django, get in. Come on, buddy. Get in there. Such a good dog. I am using a canine partner mod. And I'll link that down below as well. You know what? Let's just get these people out of here. Let's just tell them to. Can I just tell them to disperse? Can I, is that possible? Hey, everybody, leave. Okay. Let us leave. Oh, they're not gonna listen to me. That's all right. <laughs> they're still in shock that their friend got arrested. <laughs> Look, they're still looking at me. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. I greatly appreciate all the new subs lately. I greatly appreciate you guys. Be sure to drop a comment down below if you are a new sub, and I'll be sure to welcome you warmly. I really appreciate that, guys. We are getting really, really close to that 50,000 subscriber mark. We may even hit it by tonight or tomorrow. And then I've got something special lined up for a 50,000 sub special. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. We're going to get straight back over here. John, go ahead and show me 1042 back to the station. Roger, 3, John, 21. Ending our shift. Let me know, guys, if you like Django. Django will come back and visit you guys again. Till then, we'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>